Efforts are in top gear to complete the magnificent building by the All Saints Anglican Church, Wuse, Zone 5, Abuja, before its deadline in November. A fundraising service was held at the site, which has been roofed and plastered, yet not floored, and without doors or windows. Here's the report. The building project, which is located at Duboyi Community in Abuja, was embarked upon in 2015 by the All Saints Anglican Church, who says on 5, Abuja. The 270 million naira project, already roofed and plastered, has three compartments, namely the church auditorium, a supermarket wing, and the caucus wing, which houses offices and the circulation area. In order to meet up with the dedication date, which is slated for November 30, 2017, a Sunday service was held at the building site to enable church members see how far the project has gone and to encourage them to contribute more. In his sermon tagged Giving Willingly, the Vicar of All Saints Church, Venerable Dr. Prince Will Iroba, urged the faithful not to withhold their resources when it comes to giving unto the Lord. And they gave willingly. That's why we're underscoring that word, willingly, cheerfully, in obedience. That's what God wants. You give according to your capacity, but you give willingly. You must be part of faith, as a part of God's people, so that the work of God will be completed. That sermon set the tone for the highlight of the service, which is the fundraising for the completion of the project. The congregation responded positively. In an interview with the vicar, he spoke further on the project and highlighted the role of the church in nation building. We've gathered to do God's work, God's way. Because from the beginning, God has always built people who build place for his worship according to his specifications and standards. The nation will be accomplished. This nation itself is a project. It's a project. But when there is a, a, a lack of justice, there will not be peace. There must be justice to be peace. When you think it's all about you, to the exclusion of others, people will not be happy. And uh, so that's, I think that's the problem we have in this nation. Uh, some people will be telling us the nation is for all, but at the end of the day, they are making it for particular people. And some people think, some people think we are now excluded. And there's the, the source of different agitations in the nation. There is blessing in diversity, and uh, particularly as a nation like Nigeria. So we need to work together and build together and accomplish God's design for us. The chairman of the building committee and former deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Mr. Austin Opera, commended the kind gesture of the members of the church for contributing up to 80% of the fund used in raising the building to its present level. I can say categorically that about 80% of the money we have put in this project has come from the church, maybe about 20 from outside. But in all, we thank God for it and we pray that God will bless everybody that has given, both those members of the church and those from outside, that we shouldn't be tired of working for God. Give for the work of God. Pray for those in authority. Pray for the peace of the nation and pray for the unity of this nation. We believe God answers prayers. He said we should ask. We should ask and it shall be given unto us. So let us learn to ask. And God, God is not tired of hearing. He will continue to give to us. Some members of the church also spoke on the need for Christians to partake in building the house of God. It is uh, biblically um, enjoined to us as Christians that we must build for the Lord. It's a faith, and if you believe in what you have, then you must know that it shouldn't die with you. In building this legacy, we are creating an opportunity for our children and our children, children that will come tomorrow to have a platform to continue to prog propagate Christianity. So I think it's a wonderful thing, and uh, our fathers had left us with something and we too will leave something for our children. God has commissioned his children to build a tabernacle for him, a church befitting for him. And uh, God has, even in the Bible in Exodus, we are read today, still know that 
people got in, requires us to bring our what we have, some bring their gold, even what they have with them, which that they brought it willingly. And uh, God commanded us to provide willingly. And we thank God for how he has provided for his people to reach to this extent. And we are hoping that God will increase his people to be able to fulfill the mandate given to them by 30th November to dedicate the church.